Allegheny County is seeing another spike in coronavirus cases. There's been more than 200 in just the last five days. Thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Houston and I'm Melanie Gillespie. These surges come as more Pennsylvania counties and other states ease restrictions. We put this graph together to show you the number of cases reported each day in Allegheny County over the last two weeks, and you can see cases jumping in just the last few days. So how is the county responding to all of this? Channel 11's Michelle Newell is live at six after finding out. Michelle. Hey Ryan, right now I'm not wearing a mask because I'm not around anyone other than my photographer who is a safe distance away. Here's what we now know about those new COVID-19 cases here in Allegheny County. The health department tells us most of the people who have tested positive are young people who were traveling out of state and also visited bars and uh, restaurants throughout Allegheny County. Now the Allegheny County Health Department reported 61 new cases today. That brings the total of cases over the last week to 244 COVID-19 cases. Now, some of the new cases include staff at local bars and restaurants, and only a small number of the new cases reported participating in protests and going to other places. Others who tested positive for COVID-19 told County Health Department investigators that they traveled to Myrtle Beach, Houston, Nashville, Miami, Tampa, as well as other areas of Florida. Now keep in mind the health department has not identified clusters in those travel destinations. They also recently visited 15 different bars and restaurants across the county. Many of them recently visited or worked at five of those 15 bars and restaurants multiple times. Now the county health department says those who just tested positive for COVID don't know where or when they were exposed to this virus. They don't know if it happened while they were on vacation or while they were visiting some of those bars and restaurants here in the county. I'm Michelle Newell for Channel 11 News.